Man, this video, just right off the bat, is starting out so much better than the, the one I had previous to this. Had a hit of weed, it's kicking in, and I am not as nearly as manic as I was a little bit ago. I was manic. I was a mess a moment ago. Well, about a half hour ago. Mess. A total mess. I'm having a very difficult time seeing the positive things about Trump's presidency. I'm, I'm just struggling terribly to see the positive things. Well, one, one positive thing could be that he may really truly throw a wrench in our system in a way that forces us to change. Okay, there's that. Well, we, we probably won't be going to war with, with Russia. That's a positive thing. We will probably slow down immigration. That's a positive thing. So we just we, we need to slow it down a bit. Don't stop it, but slow it down. Though I do worry that he's going to set it up to where you know, oh, uh, we're going to let more people in or not based off of a belief system, and I'm like, oh, that's so chancy. And people could just lie about their belief system, but you know, I I don't think belief system should be something that is measured in whether someone's allowed in the country because I, again you, you can always just fake it anyway so um if he's an honest person which i don't think he is but if he's an honest person because guys i might be wrong maybe he is somehow um then we might get a better idea of like like a state of the union address right we might actually get real honest answers instead of this uh, and we're doing so great and wonderful and 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 my fellow americans and all these formalities that you normally hear at one of those on in one of those kinds of speeches and maybe he won't have quite as much of that maybe he will will you know be more blunt about you know what's going on I don't know. I haven't seen him work that way, so I don't know. Um, I, 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 I have a very difficult time seeing positive things. You know, I, I, God, I mean, when he talks about the economy, it's like, oh, he wants to default on our debts. What? What? That's insane. That's insane. That'll crash our economy, and then that'll crash other economies of other countries. As well as having a lot of other negative uh, uh, side effects. But, I mean, just, wow. Yes, let's default on our debts. Now... I kind of doubt that he'd be able to actually shove that forth. He might try to get uh, Congress and the House to shove that sort of thing forth. But if his ideas are not in step at all with the Republicans, I mean, if it's just totally far removed from the Republican stance, then yeah, it's probably not going to get passed. Um, now, the other way around, something that the Republicans want and Trump doesn't really, he doesn't have a firm disagreement with it, it'll probably pass. That's the stuff that worries me when it comes to laws. Um, you know, a positive side to this could be the SJWs, so people call them, I, I you know, whatever it is you consider to be an SJW. And then the reason why I, I, I say it that way is because different people have different ideas of what that means in the first place. To some people, if you just say 
you know, uh, encouraging words to women, you're an SJW, or encouraging words to gay people, or encouraging words to this group or that group. You know, you're only supposed to say encouraging words to straight, white, cisgender males, right? Uh, even more so if they're Christian, right? Because, you know... <laughs> so, uh, some people, you know, define SJW to those extremes. And so I, I don't like saying, just saying SJW, you know? So I like to say, well, you know, whatever it is that means to you, right? But it will cut back on SJWs using derogatory language towards those they're speaking with. It may cut down on, uh, you know, using words like privilege and uh, patriarchy in these ways that are very, very negative, um, that don't really help their cause. Or maybe there'll be a little less of that. You know, in time, because at first it's going to be much worse than it, than it. It's going to get way worse before it gets better, right? But you know, maybe you know, maybe there'll be that less people feeling like special snowflakes, so to speak. You know, maybe that will you know maybe that will decrease. Um at a really nasty cost, but maybe that will decrease, right? <clears throat> Just trying to think of positive things. I, I mean, there are there are a number of positive things that have happened outside, you know, th uh, from the election. Um, you've got the states that have uh, uh, more states. I think even, didn't Florida do uh, medical marijuana now? And Florida has usually been so nasty about weed. <clears throat> Florida is like one was one of those places where I think you could get like a, a multiple year sentence from weed possession, right? <laughs> so, you know, that's a that's a big thing for Florida. Um uh, and then there's places where the uh recreational use has been legalized. And, hey, that's cool. Cool. Um You know, there, there, there are some positive things in that regard on the horizon. I'm glad I made this video because I'm forcing myself to look at this stuff. Because before I made this video, oh my god. Ugh. Um. It, it's, it's sometimes, you, you've got to put a lot of work sometimes into looking at things positively. you just got to put a lot of work into it. And I'm I'm really struggling <clears throat> to find the positive things about a Trump presidency. Um, I'm worried about what I'm really worried about what things he's he may cut in the name of uh, helping the economy. What is he going to cut? I, I'm really concerned about it. Um, am I going to be on the street? Is my mother going to be on the street? How many other people would be on the street? How many elderly would be on the street? I mean, what is he going to cut? You know, originally, when Trump was running, some of the things he originally said, I wasn't that uh, against. I mean, a lot of the things that he originally said uh, was outside the realms of both Democrats and Republicans. <clears throat> and as time went on, he sounded more and more like a typical Republican. And then as time went on, he sounded like one of those Republicans. You're just like, oh, get away. You know, as more time went on, he sounded more like Huckabee and uh, 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 Cruz, and uh, you know, mind you know, just cut back just a little bit on the uh, on the religious side, and he's he was sounding like them. You know, or a lot of things like them. But then you got Pence. Pence, oh my God. 
Pence, who supports uh, uh, conversion therapy for gays, who you know promoted the one of the bills that uh, you know for places to be able to discriminate against gay people. Um, Pence is, is quite a piece of work. Now, maybe, maybe uh, Trump will still be very independent-minded in this and not let the position that he's in change him, like what happened to Obama. It was, it's been kind of weird. I mean, I, I've liked Obama as a president, but it's kind of weird watching how he changed. It's like when he realized, oh, shit, I can't do all these things I originally thought. I can't promote these things I originally thought. I've got all this stuff to deal with. And he started, and then he eventually started doing the same thing as Bush, you know, continuing some of the same policies as Bush, even though... You know, originally it seemed like it wasn't that way. It, and it's, it's also interesting to see how much uh, Obama has aged in the past eight years. It's like, wow. It really takes a toll on someone. But is Trump the kind of person who it's going to take a toll on? Or is it just going to be this thing of him enjoying this high position? You know, I don't know. I don't really know if he has the country's best interests at heart or whether or not it's just, you know, a narcissistic attempt to get more popular. Um, so it, it, has, it has been very, very challenging to try to find something positive out of the fact that he has been elected. Just something positive, something. And as I've said many times, the thing that worries me the most is an increase in the kind of culture that I've been talking about increasing. And you know, I've been talking about it for months and months now. To the point where people are getting sick of me. I stopped, you're talking about bullying again? Yeah, I am. I see this this trend of this mindset just increasing by a tenfold. And the closer we got to the election of Trump, the worse it was getting. Um, and a lot of the people that are pushing that sort of thing forth would show that same kind of bullying attitude towards those that even slightly hinted that they supported Hillary. So, you know, and most of the stuff that I saw talking about, the Trump support and that mindset kind of go hand in hand. Um, not for everyone. It's not everyone. It's not every person. And, you know, the, the support of Trump in that area is because, well, he's, he doesn't believe in political correctness. Well, that's <clears throat> fine and dandy, but he... <clears throat> he goes well beyond that into just this territory of let's be a shitty person. And we're going to have children... You know, looking up to the president. And no matter what, the kids are going to, in some ways, look up to the president. This person is of a high, uh, is in a position of power, in a high position of power. And when they see someone acting like Trump does, and yes, that is a a won't someone think of the children moment. It is. It is one of those moments. I'll, I'll fully admit to that. But in this case, I think it's kind of fucking important. There are times when that is uh, 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 an acceptable thing to focus on. But then there's how his presidency and the kind of mindset that he has where he's like a, a 
I mean, he had to have his Twitter account. The, the, his campaign took away his Twitter account because he'd go, you know, at three in the morning and, and post as if it's 4chan. You know, and, and we don't expect to see an, an, an increase in that type of mindset. And we've already seen the increase in that kind of mindset. And then earlier tonight, I was I was told that I'm being like Gazi Kodzo. Oh, jeez, Christ, just... That hurt, that that really hurt. When, when that comment was said, I was like, wow. You, know, you may disagree with me on on the importance of folk, you know, the focus of the potential of um, <clears throat> gays starting to be treated more like shit in the near future. Um, you know, that gets that gets treated like I'm being uh, Gazi Kodzo. Uh, I've seen the way that that feminine men get treated and it's getting worse and worse and worse and I look at the way that trans women are treated oh my god the only trans women that are that aren't treated like shit in the the internet realm anyway uh, but I've seen it in real life too but especially on the internet realm you know the only ones that don't get treated like that are ones that um, you know, as long as they're making fun of feminism, as long as they are taking positions that usually the things that go with those positions are an anti-trans kind of thing, you know, as long as they're shoving forth that kind of mindset, they're okay. Anything else, oh no, I mean, the worst insults start coming out. You know, people basically being chastised or shamed or bullied into uh, stating that they have certain views, and it, it it does trigger me because it it takes me back to the '90s and the '80s when you're you I was con you you get constantly told things about you know well you you need to think like this or this or this. You know, it's a Christian sort of uh, uh, belief. You need to think like this, or you're a, a, a bad person, or you're going to burn in hell, or you're going to da 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 da, right? And I start seeing that, I'm like, wow, that's that's just that's messed up. And those of you will say, well, you know, some of the, the feminists and SJWs are doing the same thing. I go, yes, I agree, I agree. There are a number of feminists out there. This isn't saying it, this about feminism in general or all feminism or what. There are some feminists out there who treat feminism like a religion with a dogma and the guilt trips and, and, and you know, they, it's like they fall for the trappings and all that sort of thing. You know, a lot of feminists treat feminism like a religion. And, and they have the shaming stuff going on there. So, I mean, this, this shaming shit goes on on all sides. But it, I gotta say, it's terrifying when it is coming from the right. Because it's usually promoting tradition when it's coming from the right. Which is the same shit as as the religious as the the ones who are really truly religious do. That's one area that the feminists don't have on that. The feminists are not trying to push forth any sort of traditional values. They're they're pushing forth these other values and giving you a guilt trip about it. But they're not traditional values. Um. And when people are pushing forth traditional values. It's basically saying, no, we don't want to move forward at all. We want to, to either remain where we're at now or we want to go back in the past. And I'll flip it over again. And, you know, the feminists sometimes are striving for some future that they're, they're jumping way too many steps ahead. 
You know, no, no, we're not ready for that yet. If we ever are ready for that, you know, no, that's don't push for that yet. You know, figure out where you are now, relate it to what you're, where you want it to be, and figure out a reasonable path. No, 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 no. You need to go right here, right away. It doesn't work that way. You know, change in that regard has to be uh, uh, consistent, and it has to be at a reasonable pace. You go start going too fast, you lose people. People start getting pissed. People start getting uncomfortable. All of that sort of thing, right? So yeah, I, I get that, right? But when it starts happening on the right with the traditionalist shit, I'm sorry. Yes, that does trigger me. It triggers me really badly. Okay, I was horribly abused by religious people. I, I do not have a very positive view of religion. And when I see things that either prop that kind of shit up or things that have those same patterns and those get propped up, yeah, that triggers me. It does. It triggers me. You know, I, I'm sure that I'm, I'm quite biased in that area. I'm sure. But I've seen firsthand what it does to people. I've seen what it does to other people besides myself. I see the kind of damage that this stuff does. And um, I'm seeing warnings that my computer was the, the uh, uh, this, there's a little bit of overload. So I guess there might be some jaggedy spots here and there in this video. So sorry about that. Um, what scares me the most about the, a traditionalist mindset being promoted is the idea that socially, socially, we could take many, many steps back instead of forward. And again, I do understand that some people have been trying to shove things forward too quickly. But if you give the the traditionalist side of things too much power, they will take advantage of that power and, and take many steps further back than what is reasonable. Okay, I don't want to go back to the 80s. And I really, really don't want to go back to the 50s. I really don't. Uh, now there's a there's a there's a what is it called a dichotomy here there's there's that's probably not the right word either but we want people to be able to live their lives how they want and there are going to be some people who who live uh, who want to live more like it is the 50s okay and you know, if you personally want to live your own life that way, fine. But don't make it sound like other people are ruining your ability to live that way because they don't want to live that way, right? Um, and the same goes for those that want to look towards the future. You know, you want to live the way, the life the way you want to live it, you know, fine. But don't guilt trip people because they don't want to live it the same way. You know, I, I mean, it, it, it goes on all sides. But if our attitude from those at the top of our, our, our social, uh, you know, the, the top of the hierarchy, the top of the, you know, and a president is that kind of, of person. And if they are pushing forth for things, and, and, not, and I'm, not, I'm not talking about laws, I'm talking about social things. You know, if, if the president normalizes the idea of going back in time, that's going to catch on a lot. 
Now, when I think about that, maybe it's me being upset because it means I'm more of a minority than I already was. And that's upsetting. It means that uh, the small amount of power that I already had is now diminished even more. And, you know, maybe that's in this picture. Maybe that's driving some of my, my feelings about some of this. I don't know. I have a general belief that just slowly we should just slowly we should be moving towards the future. Um, if little individual stragglers, whatever, want to live in these other ways, fine. But the general, I think the general part of us should be moving towards the future. When we start moving towards the past, to me, that's stagnation. That's stagnation. Yeah, stagnation. What is that other word that I'm, that, that gets stuck in my head? Stag, flag, 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 stage, flag, slag. There's something with an FL in it. Whatever. Um, yet when we start heading towards the past, we, we start to stagnate. We... I don't see that as a good thing. You know, if we stagnate, we're not going to be able to able to be as competitive in the world economy, in the world market. What's that word? Stagflation? Is that the word? I don't know why I keep focusing on it, but it's just bothering me that I couldn't remember what it was. Um, I think it doesn't it have to do with doesn't that word have to do with the uh, the way money changes uh, value and it has to do something with that and I'm just forgetting what it is anyway um, yes this chair is squeaky um, I guess I don't know I don't really know what to say now so I'm going to end the video um I feel a lot better after making this video. Um, because at least I was able to see some positive things. I, I was in doomsday mode for a while there. Oh god, it was so bad. I'm so glad I didn't actually release the last video that I made. Um, I was uploading it, and, at the, and near the end, it is, it's processing, and near the end, and I go, Oh shit, wait a minute. No, no, let's, let's approach this completely different, and I'm glad that I did. Anyway, thanks for watching.